Hi, I'm Gary Boss, the Marketing Director at Audio Technica, and I'm here at Sonic Electronics to talk about condenser microphones. Now, all microphones are uh, transducers, and what that means is they convert one form of energy, and in this case, it's mechanical energy, into another form of energy, and in this case, it's electrical energy. Um, essentially, what we're going to talk about here are condenser microphones, okay? Condenser microphones are also called capacitor microphones because of the way they're designed. And essentially what it is, is a very thin membrane, which we can see here, is suspended above a back plate. Now, this membrane is very, very light and very thin, and it has to be conductive. So in this instance, we put gold on there to be conductive, and then it needs a charge. And that charge can either come uh, from an uh, external source, such as phantom power, and those are called uh, externally polarized condenser microphones, or it can be a permanent charge, and those are what you call electret microphones. So as this diaphragm moves, the actual capacitance of this circuit changes, which uh, imparts a small electrical output. Now this output is very small and must be amplified within the microphone. And we have what we call an FET amplifier in this microphone to convert it and up, give it enough juice essentially to drive through the mic cable to your electronics, whether it's an audio mixer for live sound or whether it's an audio recording device through a preamp for recording. So again, this is a condenser microphone we have Electret and we have uh, True Condenser Design. And this is an example of a 2035 that I have completely destroyed and is no longer for sale. Um, but hopefully this has helped. In, uh, in later uh, episodes, we're going to talk about the difference between dynamic and condenser microphones to give you an idea. Thanks a lot for watching.